Keep the theme going. No, you are nature. Oh, the Shaq with Fushikens. That's a great track still. That dude, that original vinyl is worth like hundreds. What? The Shaq and Food Chicken song. I don't even remember the name of it, but I know it was fire. Here we go. A little recap UFC number four. Let's fly through these guys. Some good stuff hit. Oh, Michael Chandler. Oh, hold on. Let's bring this over too. Howdy, the body. That Pandora is crazy. I wonder. They better only be 25 of them. Got another Patty Blue there. Perez Velocity. And no, you just come, you just naming all the good groups, man. I don't like Cypress Hill too much anymore. Uh, I loved them back in the day, but the more I've listened. I can't stand dude. That it's guy's just, it's, voice drives yeah. me up the wall. It's like he's got his nose pinched. <laughs> That's why his voice is so good, Doug. <laughs> nah, I couldn't. Do, I can't handle him. Uh, insane in the membrane. I mean, he's even one of my peoples, man. I just insane. Got no brain. Little backup, dude. <laughs> So funny. Well, whoever the main one was, that's... What we got next? Capstone. Capstone. Are we late? 140. 20 minutes. See, we're only 20 minutes behind now. We were an hour. Oh, no. All right. Here we go, guys. We got two more breaks. Capstone and Bowman Chrome Hobby. Hopefully, I can make it. <laughs> Just joking. I'm good. Anyways... Let's keep it moving. Capstone number one, our first one. Check your plays on the right. Use the name in order. Opa. I didn't give it to me. Friday covered. When the fish is here, I'm strong, bro. That you're doing. What's this stuff? The new baseball. Holy holy the... <laughs> It's not as bad as it looks. This thing is a rummage. Uh, you, uh, I don't know. You, can, just, you can always move stuff. Good. No, I'm continuing. I gotta figure out what's going on. Going out with a bang in 2022. How many cases did we break today? We did four. No, we did three, six, ten, I think. Ten total. That's not counting all the other stuff. These boxes are huge, man. The bells. Ah, that is pretty cool, Noah. Dang, MC. Raising some geniuses over there. <laughs> I'm telling you, my little five-year-old daughter, she's going to be a performer, bro. She's like dancing, singing, all kinds of crazy. Like, she can dance really good or singing. She's definitely not going to be a singer. We ain't got no singers in our band. Never know, man. You ain't seen her sing, bro. And you ain't seen me and Corey and Steve, the rest of the family. None of us can sing. But you, you never know, though. You're right. There ain't... There, I don't think it's a gene, is it? Singing, I don't but think so. but yeah. I don't know though. There's like big singers and their kids all sing good. So I mean, I don't you don't want to hear me sing. Sarge, he th that, that that's what's funny. Sarge thinks he can sing. He needs to rewind that. I know I can't sing. I'm like a negative singer. Uh, I know I'm like. What's up, Nathan? I could clear a whole anything out. You just give me the microphone. Oh yeah, for sure. Man, we never did. Man, you and RJ, man. We're supposed to have karaoke. We were supposed to have embarrassing karaoke night I for you back, guys. I didn't back out on that deal. I, I know. You won the bet, didn't you? No, I lost. I would have lost. You would have lost? He backed out. Yeah, I would have Oh, that's back. right. He backed out and would have won. That would have been great. Because I know you would have did it. I would have done it, man. We wouldn't have let you not do it. Yeah, I would <laughs> Or you would have disappeared. Sorry, man. <laughs> I, nah, Sorry, man, I, I found I, some cool spots to go. <laughs> I'd have rolled with it. I just don't know where you would have found a place. Like, I mean, you'd have to I think he door. knew. He, yeah, you have to, like, know all the you'd spots. You'd have to find a spot. Okay. 
You saw you were singing when you were a little kid, Noah. <laughs> not me. Did not get blessed with that talent. Alright, let's go. Capstone. We're gonna go through these really quick, guys. These are pretty easy to go through. You got base and then you got red and gold parallels where the name will be red or gold All numbering in this product is on the front of the card. So that's good You got one big you got one insert in the back And pretty pretty simple config for this one the Fat packs though because they're it's like zenith. This is like zenith baseball, which is pretty cool or Zenith, Zenith, whatever. Oh, yeah, that was a massive club hit, dude. I bet that's still a club hit for the 40 and over clubs. <laughs> I had all the solos on, man. I bet that happens to a lot of people. All right, rock and roll. Oh, I got them the wrong way. Sorry, guys. I mean... Do a little flip flip. These don't stack very well, do they? They're all over the place. Here we go, guys. Good luck. So you got the reds and you got these little parallels and the gold coloring and then the inserts. Tartus. Pretty free gold. Deja vu. These go to the left side. Roger Clemens. How'd that song go? I can't remember. That drama song, the left, right, left. How'd that go? I haven't heard that one very long though. Hey, Jimbo Jersey Auto, Menzardo. Those are nice. We pulled a Ortiz like that earlier. That was crazy. That was crazy, man. Oh, the Cunha. Corbin Burns, number to 99, first numbered card. Strider, Blackman. See, see, look, Penny did a set, and all the cards are the right way, dude. You can just roll right through them. It's a beautiful thing. Cool, Tony. Yeah, Matt Barnes, Jersey. Left, 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 right, left. Got a torque red. Quan red. Josh Low or Low. Little jersey. Mookie. Mookie. Oh, yeah. That was the good stuff then, man. I tried to listen to that like five years ago. I was like, man, let me look at listen to these. Pretty terrible. It was good then, though. Ah, uh, nah. Not for me. I know a lot of people like them, though. All, all the rock I like is 90s or older, man. <laughs> I don't like any of this. I don't know. Opeth is pretty awesome. They got some new stuff. Ooh. Opus. They're like a heavy metal band. One of the best heavy metal bands in the world, man. You ain't heard of them? Oh, the they still actually make music. A lot of good rock bands still make music. You just got to find them. You got Brandon Marsh. Gregman. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, McNeil. Ah, everybody liked that, that them, dude. Everybody liked them, Noah. That's why everybody makes fun of them. Creed. Oh. Everybody liked Creed, dude. Not I done. remember. Not got Julio Red, got a Judge jersey. I liked them for about a month or two. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. All the chicks liked them, that's for sure. Jake Berger. They sure did. That's why you gotta like them. 
Osmer, Derwin, the Grammy. She's got a Jazz Chisholm 99. Cool looking ink there. Dove says he doesn't, but he secretly likes them. He's, they're on his playlist. This is my favorite playlist. No one can know about. You will not catch them. Signed Dubbers. Best playlist. <laughs> they are not around. Pool holes. I ain't afraid. I put it. It don't matter. You can get on my playlist. <laughs> my playlist, man. The one I, the playlist I've been building for like a year. I'm like tired of every song on it now. Dude, I got like I just want to delete it. I got KC the Sunshine Band on mine. Elvis Presley. I got it all, man. Dang, a little Elvis, huh? I got a lot, a lot of Elvis now. Dude, our old Elvis is good. That movie was a good movie. Yeah, that was, it was a fun. It was a fun little movie. Another Julio, Torque Red, Aquino, Ink. <laughs> Can you take me higher? <laughs> Got a Quan Red. Can you take me higher? I don't even remember how it goes. I know. I know Dubs can recite it though. These loads too are easy. No. Uh, loads are on. Music. Yeah. All right. All right. Bobby Witts. No creed. No creed. When you cook, you put on heart radio. <laughs> For the ladies. Man, you could knock somebody out with one of these cards, bro. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah, the you can throw this across the room and knock somebody's face yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah, Ivan Castillo. <laughs> Musgrove, Ian, Rodon, Verlander. Can you take me higher? I don't even. <laughs> I got it. Man, did you play for that group? You sound like you played for that group. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, you could have you been in that group, man. Bring him back up. <laughs> M. Anderson. Sergeant Trey, they're like... They're, Michael Jackson, Noah. Sergeant Trey's biggest goal was to become backup dancers for Bieber. <laughs> for Bieber. They would absolutely lose marble. I'm sure they would. If they got the call tomorrow. Hey, man, you want to back up to her? Bieber, 23? No, uh... What do we get paid? You get a beaver shirt. We're there. We're there. You get a beaver shirt. <laughs> yeah. Can we get to meet the beads? <laughs> I never thought I'd see you know, an adult man that I that I like that and a that, that loved them. And they, they uh, claim it. They, they claim it for real. They claim it hardcore. Like yeah, you love. he's got the. You seen the his hoodie? Trey's hoodie. He mm -mm. came in here wearing a hoodie one day and it said Drew on it. Like D R E like Drew. And I was like, Yeah man, what's that? He's like, it's beads, man. I was like, what do you mean beads? That that's his company, man. <laughs> no. I swear to God. Oh, yeah. Like his real name is Andrew. Like his name's Drew. Like, I swear to God to you, bro. He's got his own clothing line. There's Franco. That's funny. He's, He's got his like, clothing line. I was like, Are you really wearing a Bieber hoodie? Both of them are going to marry a, a woman that loves the bees. Watch. Oh, Guaranteed. Casey Keenum and Rick Dees. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, though, Noah. That was just the first thing that popped in my head. Noah it said, if you can hear just one thing and it instantly takes you back to your childhood, who would, it, who would that be? Takes me back to my childhood? Yeah. I mean, how far are we going back, man? We going I don't back know. Back? Yeah, 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 childhood is pretty big. Or? See, I, I went back to elementary with mine. Yeah. Elementary school? Nestor. Uh, the teenage years would probably be Outkast and Led Zeppelin. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. my, my parents always had Led Zeppelin on. I, I would have to say Michael Jackson Thriller, man. That'd take me that's straight what back it, yeah, to That's what I said, Michael Jackson. School, man. 
Big bitch, yeah. I remember being I remember being scared of Thriller, but watching it anyways. When Thriller came out, like man, Billy Jean and Beat It and all that, you ain't man. Mind. That was. That's Cameron. And Billy Idol. I got yeah. Stevie listening to like some Michael Jackson. He's got a few good ones. Your eyes that I can still listen face. to. Got no human grace. I love some Billy Idol dogs. Billy Idol. Yeah, he used to always. Dodgers pregame. I always remember just listening to the Braves as a kid too. Like the TV, the TBS. Always, man. When they they ruined the Braves, man. They ruined the whole the way they, they do the networks and the ballys. It's like, TBS. man, dude, just put it on TBS. TBS, TB, is so TBS man. Dog. Come on, put the Braves on TBS. Like the theme from the Fall Guy that show that takes me. If I hear that, just the start of it. I'm, I'm immediately back. That's crazy. Dodgers pregame, baby. Mm, shh, man, we had the best in the game, man. Best announcers in the game. Easily. All their sons are, st are announcing still. That's how Very, good they Very carry, dude. Watching the Cubs game when I was a kid, just listening to him. I remember like in like in uh they because we had we had Braves on TBS we had Cubs on WG. Yeah, yeah, yeah you baby. Always had Harry Carey. Dog. You always had the Cubs and the Braves. Andre Those are the two teams. Dawson's at bat. <laughs> Last night I ran into Andre at the steakhouse. <laughs> that was funny. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, I know you didn't hate the Braves pre '90s though, Noah. No, no, the no. '80s Braves, man. We were like bottom of the barrel yeah all they had was dale murphy and that was it and ozzy virgil bob yeah, horner Rafael to... ramirez you can't forget those guys yeah, bro. they true. suck too come on dude they were so bad my uncle lived in peachtree city and i'll never forget going to georgia one time to see them and i never i saw this bumper sticker on this guy's car and it said go braves and right underneath it it said and take the falcons with you <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah I remember those. This was the 80s. Yeah, Glenn Hubbard, baby. Glenn what do you know about Glenn Hubbard? Bill Necro with a sick knuckleball. My mom used to always, every time when I was a kid, you know, if we were talking sports, like my dad and everybody, she'd always be like, yeah, and I met Phil Necro, and he signed this ball. She'd always come with the same story. Phil Necro. And, and, and my, my mom or dad or somebody like they got the, like the auto got scrubbed off or something. <laughs> she always told that story. Was there a Troy Anderson in the mosaic? Mm, I don't know. I don't think there was any autos. Bobby Witt, Red. I don't know if he has base rookies in there or not. Ronnie Dawson to 25. I did a recap on the loaded cards. There wasn't no loaded choice. Uh, you probably can't hear me since you just said you're not live. I don't know. Corey Lee. Sid Bream. <laughs> 92. Sid Bream. I hate him with a super patch. <laughs> I need to get me a Sid Bream 101 auto and leave it right there beside Bobon. Well, I, I tell you what, it would <laughs> be a burned up auto. <laughs> I was set fire in that. Dove's got a Bobon. What we, what can we call that, Doves? What? What you got going on over there with Bobon? Like a, the the Bobon. Uh... I got a Bobon trifecta over here. Yeah, but we can call it something else too. The greatest to ever play the game. You know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Your layer over there. <laughs> oh yeah, Ken O. I remember him. Lucas. Call Bob on the dual threat. You know what's funny though, Actor. dude. Who? So Actor. Noah, who was my favorite team and player when I was eight? What in the Braves? What year was it? How I was. 1986. 1986. You don't know either, do you? Dodgers. Nope, not the Dodgers. Hate the Dodgers. Hated every team except for this team and the Braves. And I hate the team now. I don't like them at all. Yeah, Myers. Astros. Yep, MC remembers. 
He said half the name. No, no, the Astros. Hey, nobody liked Astros, bro. And they still don't. Dude, I still love the old school Astros uniforms. Yeah, the unis were right. cool. And Bagwell was cool. I liked Bagwell. Oh. Cool. You say Bagwell. Yeah, Daryl Strawberry and the Mets. Dude, I went to a Braves game, the Mets, and got a Strawberry and Doc Good and both signed their rookie cards. Docs was a rookie. I think Strawberries was a second year or something. And then <clears throat> got a Julio Rodriguez gold. And then I sold both of them. I wish I'd have kept them because that'd be cool like to have now. But I sold them at a card show for like 50 bucks each in-person autos. Can you imagine if we could do that nowadays? Nobody cares about the in-person. But uh, I, my mom still rags me, dude. She's like, oh. I waited in line for you for so long and you sold them. <laughs> I said, yeah, but I, I got cards for him. I traded them and got cards. Yeah, I have a strawberry <clears throat> autographed jersey in the PC. And I got PSA 10, Tops Traded, Tops Tiffany. This is a few of his main cards. And I got some of his classic old stuff. This base stuff in the, in the PC. <laughs> what, man? There was no team more fun to watch back then than the Mets. That was a team of characters. I didn't know any of the funny stuff they had going on. <laughs> now we know why they were more characters. Pirates. I remember hating the Pirates. Oh, Barry Bonds. I hated Barry Bonds. I remember hating the Braves. Mm -hmm. Oh, big. for sure. They were like rivals back then. Yeah, big time, bro. Mm -hmm. Another Julio. Like, it was... We Mookie like or something. Y'all didn't like us. I never forget seeing Bonds in that left field. The little frowny face. Right field. Left field. Yeah, left field. Sorry. I'm he was in left field. Brain. I just think Julio. of that throw. Yeah. I just remember seeing him with broke Cabrera's leg, Sid Green coming around the damn <laughs> with the broke leg. Like, come on, man, this dude can't even run. Can't even run. <laughs> oh yeah, Bizio too. Bizio, they were both awesome. The worst though is Jose Lee. Jose Lee, he was think, good. I don't even think he's allowed back in Pittsburgh because he, he made an error. Series, yeah, the bat, bat, you can't toss it to first base. He was a good player though. Not that day. Not that day. Cool, God Franco. Almighty, that one to murder him. <laughs> it's like you are the dumbest fool alive, bro. We're going to the World Series. Then here Twelve comes, and ninety-nine. Comes Cabrera up to bat with Cripple Sid Breen sitting at second base, like uh, Doug Drabeck. Drabeck. Uh, he was good, dude. I used to see Dre Drabeck smoking in between. Yeah. Uh, innings. Yeah. That's crazy. He would. He'd smoke Marlboros in between innings, dude. Like it was going out. That of was his only his third air of the season, bro. He was a stud, Jose Lean. Well, he studded us out of the World Series. Yeah, We're, bad timing to have your third air. Yeah. Then it was like the mojo started. You remember good old Mark Lemke? I know you remember Lemke. Clutch. Lemke was clutch. God, I hate him, man. Three, yeah. He batted 300 with like one, two home runs a year. You know, the, there's only <laughs> one player. Yeah, on but that. you would love to have him up. There's you only need one it. player I like Mike on your Portes. team. Who's that? Ron Gant. Oh, dude. Dude. Gotta love Ron Gant, bro. It. That's it. It's the only one I like. I used to do his batting stance I in Little it. League, bro. I hated and I did strawberries when I batted left-handed. I do Gant's right-handed. I did some Eric Davis. You remember Eric Davis's stance where he had the he let the bat just lay over the plate? I used to love that. When y'all would start that chant up, I really want to call a bomb threat into <laughs> Oh yeah, we still got that. What are you yeah, talking about? Shut up! Somebody shut them up. Got a tour. JP Crawford. Oh God, man! My job. That's the best sound ever. What are you talking about? The worst sound. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, Andy Van Slyke. He Andy was good. Van Slyke. He was nice. Jeff Kent. Yep, Kent was nice too. Hey, man, Van Slyke was like a. Gold he was a stud. Year, man. A lefty baby. That's what the lefties. <laughs> J Bell managed. J Bell. Yeah, J Bell can play. Didn't he? Have, he had a big homer season one year, didn't he? he did. 
99 Glen Auto. Mike Trout. We brought Wakefield in with that knuckleball. So oh my it. man, I hated Wakefield. Yeah, that dude that. was no, a beast. Him Wakefield, baby. Yes, you just sit there and watch, and we can never hit anything. Never could hit that. It was so annoying. I mean, we got to him one time though. Yeah, it, was, him. it was great. Yeah, he brought that. He brought that knuckle back though. Mm -hmm. Look at that weird. We seen another car like that earlier. Y'all had some good fits weird. Here, bro. Julio New Age. Yeah, that, that rotation, uh, man, incredible. Never, Glad you'll never see another smokes. one like that, bro. The ones you see now are all built like bots. You'll never see a natural, amazing rotation like the Braves had, dude. It was, it was good. The only player we added was Maddox, and he wasn't even that coveted when we added him. He was decent with the Cubs the first few years, I believe. Steve Avery. Steve Avery. I need the quad, dude. I've been I want a quad auto on card. Avery, Maddox, Glavin, Smoltz. Why do we not? We have a triple out there with Maddox, Glavin, Smoltz, of course, but it's super rare. And I think it was a redemption or something. I, I can't remember what it said, but there's nothing with Avery on it with those guys. So it's like, come on, man. I just want an on card Dre bag with like a cigarette that burn on it. <laughs> You gotta hit him up for that. He'll, I'm sure he'll make it possible. He does, no. He was part of that. He was a big part of that. He didn't last as long, that's why. He only lasted a year or two. I loved Avery though, because I was a left handed pitcher. Him and Glavin were my guys. I met Glavin at a Ford dealership. He was doing a signing. My mom still has a picture of me looking like a super nerd with a big smile on my face about my Glavin auto. <laughs> Mr. Glavin, can I have this sign, please? <laughs> your 87 Donruss, it's worth a lot of money. Or your 88 Donruss. I think 88 was his rookie. 88 Fleer. I used to love that 88 Fleer, the white, the white ones. Oh, you love that set. I opened too many packs of that set. Dubs ain't looking in chat. He's leaving his brains out. The yeah. Phillies. Dang, I ain't heard of none of those guys, Daryl. <laughs> that is a bad rotation. He, he said the whole Phillies rotation. I never heard of any of those dudes. That's rough. They look kind of familiar, but... <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, Andrew just completely killed the half case by throwing in every filler spot to the Rex. You killed it, Andrew. No sales jobs in your future, buddy. <clears throat> Jazz, Blackman. It's a massive break. Man, Nikki's already mad about this week. She's going to be super pissed. About what? All the car. Because all the breaks, yeah, because all the breaks are just big right now. Yeah, man, the Raven y all, y all There's no Raven single pack. talking anymore. Y done. I know. I come in and she just glares at me. Just walk by and it's like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Emily's working like 20 hours instead of 40. She's she's like slacking hard because she's uh, she's leaving. She was burn up crispy. The Sarge one here today. Oh yeah, and, and Sarge, dude, dude she messaged me like I was supposed to do something about it. Like, what do you want me to do? Just just handle it. It's so easy, dude. Just like handling the customers in the shop are like literally the easiest thing in the world to do, bro. Like, hey, how much is this? Hey, do you have this? Oh, thank you. I'll take that. I'm done. As long as there's no trading. Randy Tomlin. Randy. I remember that dude. Mazika. 78 top tricky card. Ooh. That is cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Christian Javier. <coughs> Javier. Got Tanner with the ink. Knuckleballers. Ooh. Blue steel. <laughs> Blue steel. Where did that come from? Zoolander, dude. I know, but I was just, you Zoolandered out of nowhere? <laughs> yeah, because Damn. I knew this was coming, bro. Like, I, I looked at this set before it came out, and it was like, Blue Steel. <laughs> I thought I was like Zoolander. These are fire, though. They're actually thin. They're kind of like Formula One chrome, the fill. Got the Mookie case hitter there. <laughs> Zoolander reference. <laughs> Uh, that's one of the funniest movies ever, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Michael Taylor. The A's. Man, the A's. Remember that A's team? Canseco, McGuire, and those guys. Eckersley. Yeah, My God. That team was incredible. Oh, dang. That's sick. I was 14 years old. That's sick. Yeah. You got an Otani dual jersey. I had the Oakland A's hat and everything. That's crazy. The Bass Brothers. Yeah. I know. There's a couple that look like that. Like a machine like ran over. Did a burnout on hey! Juan Soto to 50. Nice. I feel like we always pull a Soto in the new product. It comes out. Soto. Soto. Mm. That's a great little PC set. Everybody get a bunch of cards. Got Hans at 35. The artist proofs are super nice. Little Abrams. Mm -hmm. I am so out of energy, bro. For real, for real. I haven't ate enough calories today, bro. I literally all I ate was that brisket. Brisket was kind of rough looking. That brisket was freaking amazing. Mr. Tomato sauce. Uh, Ragu. <laughs> Bobby Witt. Got a Gen Park 99. Old Dubbers over here doesn't eat real barbecue. He eats vinegar based barbecue. Yeah, he's North Carolina. He, I'm over there oh, eating no. the best looking brisket you've ever seen. He's like, yeah. ooh, what is that? Can't get with I need my vinegar. And my coleslaw. And my like bun. I can't stand coleslaw. Really? That's like a big part of Dude, you know Carolina barbecue, like... man. Nah, man. What? And I don't like vinegar at all. But Really? Yeah. But somehow but you like the, the, the pork in the barbecue? <laughs> the hush puppy and that. You like the combo. The hush puppy I mean, I like vinegar the combo. Pack. Oh yeah. I ate that with spaghetti. Oh, we always make honey butter when we got biscuits at the I house. Put, bro. Homemade honey butter. Mm. You do, and you get it in the big thing, and you just pour it. Ooh. Got Jazz Chisholm, second one. Get the jumbo jersey this time. Very nice. Best meal I ever had, man. Sweet tea. I was like, what's in this sweet tea? He's like, oh, my mom put cinnamon sticks in that. Ooh. Cinnamon sticks? Yeah, bro. In the sweet tea? Yeah, dog. That's crazy. You make your sweet tea and you put a cinnamon stick? I've never best. heard of that. Uh, that's why. That's wild. So, dude, that dude who makes the mac and cheese up there, they got cinnamon in the mac and cheese, bro. Yeah, and it's, hating, it's good, bro. I ain't hating on it. I had never had it like that. That dude's legit. If you like tomato base. <laughs> Definitely negatory. Man, you are definitely in the one percent on that one, dog. I'll stay in the one percent. <laughs> nothing wrong. With, nothing wrong with being in the one percent. Got a lot of other one percenters out here. <laughs> we got Mike Trout. Anybody was born and raised here? Dude, bro, you go to Parker's in Greenville on Sunday. I could hours waiting. For yeah. Vinegar base. Hours. I so supposedly the best. We got Alec Baum. The, the best North Carolina barbecue is in West North Carolina. That is in the mountains. Wrong. That's what they say, bro. They can say that. Definitely. What do you mean? Have you been out in the, the mountains best, the where they're where they're like cooking it legit all day? I'm telling you, the best barbecue in North Carolina is Eastern North Carolina barbecue, son. 
The Western is the same though, dude. The mountains. Nope. Nope. You think? They got veggie burgers in the mountains. Tell me, stay away. Oh no. Stay away from veggie burgers. You don't want nothing to do with the mountains. Carney Lansford, I remember that dude, Terry Steinbach. He was a great catcher. I'm telling you though, man, I think the best one, like I was watching no, this show and we're covering show. like all the, they were covering know, all the Carolina barbecue I stuff. I've seen the Food Network where they came to like, oof, boop, boop. Nah, bro, you went to the wrong stop. You should have stayed on the bus one more They got time. bad information. Bad info. Curtis Terry. Yeah, supposed to be like downtown Raleigh, that place. And, like it was on the Food Network. Oh place. yeah, they oh, this is great. Dude, like, they the suck. Worst, the, the pit. The worst pit, the pit. They do and, suck. Oh, Terrible, bro. I know we went up there after we that like, happened. We're like, it was it, Corey was like, What is this? This yeah, is terrible. Saw it on TV and thought, oh, hey, yeah, it is. Of course, yeah, uh -uh. Eastern North Carolina, son. It's almost seven. he don't never diss the ones that he don't like either. Like, like you go to East, he North goes North and he's always hyping them up. Go to, go to Eastern North Carolina and be like, Yeah, I want some brisket. They're gonna be like, uh. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna be like, We can't make that. We suck. No, they're gonna be like, Go up to New York City. Dude, how can you diss on brisket, bro? It's like the best ever, man. Like, who hates on brisket? Anybody in chat don't like brisket? Come yeah. forward. Hell yeah. Come, Come on, forward man. now. <laughs> Come on, now. don't leave me hanging. There is not else. one person in chat that doesn't like good brisket, bro. Does anybody in chat really? Y'all like I'm trying to, sauce on I'm trying to tell you. Because like? ain't none of them from North Carolina, Harley. Probably they have true. one or two dudes from NC and chat. Did I have people that weren't from here? They'd be like, yo, man, I want to get back and get some of that North Carolina bar. That's no that's way. That's yes, I have. They were just being nice to no, you, No, they though. weren't. They, were, they, they, they were just trying to show you some love for your, they were like, for your one love. You. No, they were just like, you can't get that anywhere in the world. But North Carolina is exactly yeah. that. Yeah. Holy crap. Look, look, GoPro says, love brisket with a vinegar-based sauce. <laughs> For real? See, uh, I, then I can get with you. Wildcat, of course Wildcat hates brisket. Wildcat, Thank you, you hate, Thank you, you hate everything See, but I football. Another... But he, he hates everything but football, dude. No, he doesn't. The only not. thing he likes is football. And his, teriyaki, and his wife. He likes teriyaki chicken wings. <laughs> teriyaki. With ranch dressing and not, not, not that nasty. There is a, hold on, there's only one. See, there's only one, bro. One, I told you in the one percent. That's part of my one percentile plan. That's true. That's true. Don't let him hate on your cat. You know that brisket's not no good. Man, I had some tomato-based hot sauce on oh mine. Yeah, so good, bro. God, God oh my. Dude, I could just lay there and you could just you could put it in a cup, man, and drink it. So good. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby do, Witt, Jr. Do it over there in Atlanta. <laughs> no, they eat Sunnies in Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, that is the worst, bro. I like Sunnies, but it is oh, it's, it's, it's definitely terrible. low grade. It's definitely low grade, bro. Yeah, dude. It's I, definitely, I, it. I didn't realize it until I was older and I drove to Charlotte, and then there was a Sunnies. I was like, yes. And I went. I was like, dang, man, I really love this place when I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> it's different. It's like McDonald's the barbecue, really. They sell a quadruple bypass platter and I get two servings of pulled brisket and two... Look, look at that. He's got a dude in Philly that's from North Carolina that does the barbecue up there. Is it vinegar-based? You know it is. Daryl? You know it is, Daryl. No, nah, we're about to find out. Mm -hmm. Look, I come into brisket. What a waste of time cooking that crap. Thank you. <laughs> you See? Want... Got another... What? Got another good one out there. The juiciest, tenderest meat ever? No, buddy, pulled pork with the juices and the flavors. I don't know about all that, man. Get you one of them hush puppies, Pulled baby. porks. That's like bottom of the barrel stuff, bro. Dude, that's top of the notch. Nah. That's top of the... That's top Not of the anybody program. to eat that. No, that's, that's top of the notch. <laughs> See? No vinegar. And he's from North Carolina. Let's go. Leo Rodriguez Silver. He knows what's up, Daryl. He grew over in that western side. <laughs> I think they have the vinegar in the over west too, does. They start getting tomatoey more west you go. There you go, GoPro. See, they've had the bad stuff, dude. It's just like when your boy's like, I, I hate shrimp. And all he's ate is a frozen breaded shrimp. You, you can't say you hate shrimp when that's the only shrimp you've ever eaten. I don't want to hear it. 
You know I mess with Rob like that because you know Rob hates seafood and stuff. Like that shrimp more better than the fresh. No, well, the kids, do, are they all, dude, their favorite chicken is the the gross little, the gross little like animal creature ones that you, know, you put in the oven. Love the fried shrimp and the frozen. Oh yeah. I, I hate that stuff, restaurant. man. I can't, I can't, shrimp. I can't, I can't, I can't eat the shrimp like, like that. Eat it. I was like, what? You like the frozen better than this? That's wild. A lot of people, though, I think, have like a bad version of of food, and then they like their whole life. They're like, I don't like that, and they like miss out because they didn't have the good version. Mm. I think so, Wildcat. I I I I'm right there with you on that one. Kansas City barbecue is so good. See, Memphis barbecue, Kansas City. Those are they're all barbecue. They're all tomato based. Dubs. I ain't never been there, man. I was trying to say Texas has terrible. Have you been to Red Hot and Blue, bro? I'm just saying Texas has terrible. Hey, man, you know there's like a six steak. hour line in Austin for this one barbecue spot, bro. Well, I didn't go to Austin. I ended up in Houston and went everywhere else. So I missed out. <laughs> Maybe they do. I can't say. That. I'm just saying there's like but this Houston one spot. Houston and Dallas, Texas. No, no. Nice. See, there you go, Wildcat. It's a good example. She probably has some bad old stuff from the from the grocery store or something. I was like, oh. Probably went to Sonny's barbecue. Got the bad plate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh Colton Welker, the fifty. The next few minutes, I'm gonna take a nap on this table, and then we'll break Bowman Chrome after that. Sorry guys, Bowman's going to push the next Thursday. Yep. My back hurts. Trey. My hand hurts. I'm tired. I'm going to call Trey. Okay, he'll come up here. He'll That's come like up crazy. by Monday at least and do it. Got MJ. Wait till you have that North Carolina uh, vinegar base, man. Then you'll be in love. Yeah. You get to taste. You get to see what three dollar barbecue tastes like. Wrong. <laughs> so wrong. It ain't wrong. There's food trucks with with two dollar vinegar based barbecue sandwiches. Hey man, because it's the bottom of the barrel meat and the bottom of the barrel sauce. Don't do nobody that? like that stuff. Hey, what you need to do, man, is get you some, <laughs> some yeah. brisket or some pulled pork barbecue and pour some ragu over it. And you'll ragu. Have, you'll have the Atlanta special. Nah, you're wild enough. That's now. what they eat in Atlanta. Mm -mm. Ragu Rag over. Order Junior's from NYC. Yeah, no, yeah. There ain't, 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 ain't no barbecue shop from New York City. Are you talking about cheesecake? Oh, now nah, you're right. Yeah, New York's got some serious, got uh, some serious food up there, bro. Where I bet they got amazing barbecue because somebody from the from down here went to New York and made barbecue up there. I'm trying to tell you. You don't think so? I guarantee you, there's an amazing barbecue spot Dude, they in New don't York. Like barbecue up north. Yes, bro. they do. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They like hash. Hey, I rock some of that too. Oh Guarantee there's a popping barbecue spot in New York. I bet any amount of money on it. that's got the. Uh, I bet you there's even a vinegar based one up there. Everybody, you know how many people move I there? Stay in business, man. There ain't no southerners up there rolling around like, hey, yo. <laughs> you sound like Stallone. <laughs> Don't Who knows? I don't know. We need to look it up, though. Look up vinegar based barbecue, New York City. You're it's got to be the non fatty part, Wildcat. It's got to have that black crust, bro. Search result zero. Oh, no, Cruz. <laughs> Peter just said you're wrong. We know he's wrong, Pete. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, MJ the 75. That's the longest barbecue talk I've ever had in my life. Well, barbecue the whole entire case has been ripped with one barbecue conversation. I never thought barbecue could be so fun. Yes, sir, Maha. That show's great, man. Tulsa King, have you seen that yet? Oh, yeah, I love that show. Yeah, I only watched the first episode, but it's, it was awesome. Like, that fits him perfectly. That show fits his whole whole demeanor the ada barbecue place near times square barbecue wasn't great but the hush puppies were phenomenal 
Dude, there's a place in Charleston called Charleston. You ain't lying, Peter. Crab house. They make us nothing for the pieces of crab. And oh, man. I need, I need some Never, I'm you. I need chunks of crab meat in my hush puppies all I need day. Chunks of crab meat and everything. You, yeah, I know, dude. Everything. Like every single dish. Everything, I'll tell you. I know. I need to catch up on that one. I only watched that first. Oh, yeah. I think I watched it when only one episode was out. That's why. Oh, there's like seven or eight now. Yeah. I try to let this whole seasons go so I can just watch it all at once. Yeah, Ain't nothing more fun than watching the whole series. Like in a couple of days. I have a four card pack here. You ever had she crab too? Mm -mm. Oh my. Are you serious? I've had some like. It's like a white. Another it's jazz. It's like chowder, but with, with crab. Ah. Uh, Bro, they used to make it. Yeah, I never had that. I always had the cheap. The golf course I was. The cheap at. canned Campbell's. Chunks, bro. Chunks. Mm -hmm. Nice Acuna 99. That's awesome. Cold day in Charleston, rainy day in Charleston. Mm. Hush puppies, yeah, hush puppies are all the barbecue spots down here. Yeah, but you gotta have good pups, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. It's hard to make. Ah, oh, Smithfield's pups ain't that good, bro. Who? Smithfield's. They all right. They're decent. Yeah, they they ain't good. like the we had some in Vegas that were better. No, I believe that. Everything's in Vegas though, man. All types of foods. Definitely. Don't matter where they're from. Other countries, other states. Like 